My name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today, we will be showing you how to calibrate your Mini 3's IMU, Compass, and Gimbal. The Mini 3's IMU, or Initial Measurement Unit, is a built-in device responsible for keeping the Mini 3 level and stable in the air by monitoring the drone's velocity, angle, force, and attitude. This is done by checking the Mini 3's accelerometer, barometer, gyroscope, and thermometer. If any of these systems are out of whack and not corrected, your Mini 3 could tilt while hovering, have difficulty remaining stable and steady in the air, or display signs of difficulty cooling down. By calibrating the Mini 3's IMU, either when prompted or when you haven't flown your drone in a while, you can reduce sensor errors and have an overall better flying experience. Now it's highly suggested to calibrate your IMU whenever you fly outside of a 30 mile radius of your previous flight and also every 1000 feet of elevation change. Now prior to calibrating your Mini 3's IMU, make sure you're outside in an area that's free from metal. For this video, unfortunately, we're filming in our studio. Now for the first step, while the Mini 3 is off, we want to remove the gimbal cover. This will ensure that when the Mini 3 is turned on, the movement of the gimbal will not be impeded. Now we'll want to power on the DJI RC or RCN1, whichever you use regularly. If you're using the RCN1, you'll also have to launch your DJI Fly app. Now we'll power on the Mini 3. After the DJI RC and RCN1 connects to the Mini 3, it may automatically switch over to live view. If this does not automatically occur, then you can tap go fly. Now once we're in the live view, you want to go into the fly app menu or the options by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. After this, we'll locate and tap the safety tab. Now scroll down until you see IMU normal. Next to that, press calibrate to start the IMU calibration process. We'll press start and then follow the various prompts and move the Mini 3 into the various positions as directed on screen. After that's said and done, your IMU is calibrated. Now for the compass calibration. The Mini 3's compass is exactly what would be expected of a standard compass that one might bring on a hike. Now, although a digital device, it helps the Mini 3 know where it currently is location-wise. Because an uncalibrated drone can fly erratically or even crash due to a loss of control, it is suggested a calibration be done whenever you fly outside of a 50-mile radius of your last flight, this up from the 30-mile radius of the IMU, and also every 1,000 feet of elevation change. Now, here's something to note. When calibrating your Mini 3, make sure you are away from any metals or areas with strong interference. We also suggest staying away from parking garages while calibrating the compass, because these are full of metal rebar. Now, to calibrate your Mini 3's compass, while the Mini 3 is off, again, we want to remove the gimbal cover. Next, We'll power on the DJI RC or RC1 that you regularly fly your Mini 3 with. Again, if you're using the RCN1, you'll need to launch your DJI Fly app. Now, we'll power on the Mini 3. After the DJI RC and RCN1 connects to the Mini 3, it may automatically switch over to Live View. If you're not automatically brought to the Live View, then you'll need to tap Go Fly. Now, once in Live View, we want to go into the Fly App menu by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. We'll go and locate and tap the Safety tab. Scroll down until you see Compass Normal. And next to this, we'll press Calibrate to start the Compass Calibration process. We'll next press Start and follow the prompts and move the Mini 3 into the various positions as directed on the screen. 
Now, unlike the previously mentioned IMU and compass calibrations, gimbal calibration does not affect how the Mini 3 flies at all. Gimbal calibrations are related to the drone's camera. Now, while the gimbal does a self-check each time the Mini 3 is turned on, if you find that the camera on your Mini 3 has trouble staying level, uh, you can see this by an uneven horizon, or the camera wanders occasionally during flight, then it's time to manually calibrate the gimbal through the DJI Fly app. So to calibrate the Mini 3's gimbal, again, while the Mini 3 is off, we'll remove the gimbal cover. Now, while on a flat surface, you'll want to power on your DJI RC or RCN1 that we'd normally fly our Mini 3 with. Next, we'll power on the Mini 3. After the remote controller connects to the Mini 3, again, it might automatically switch over to Live View. If you're not brought to the Live View, simply tap Go Fly. Now, once in Live View, we want to go into the Fly Apps menu by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. We'll locate and tap the Control tab. We'll scroll down until we see Gimbal Calibration. Next to that, we want to press the arrow on the right hand side and the gimbal will self calibrate. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and videos, head on over to DroneBlog.com.